key vocabulary for talking and writing about computers and technology. Here is the vocabulary list, beginning with innovative, device, breakthrough, cutting edge, gadget, wireless, social media, and viral. So here we have some key terms for talking about computers and technology. And I think it's really important that you really know these eight pieces of vocabulary here, because talking about computers and trends in technology is something that is going to be very important to you. And I'm sure that you're going to see some of this in your IELTS test too. So let's move on to the first piece of vocabulary, which is innovative. If something is innovative, it is an original idea. It can often solve a problem. It's building on something to improve it. There are many innovative technologies that make our life easier. The iPhone is an innovative device that has many different uses and functions. I think it's fair to say in the last 10 years, we have seen a lot of innovative technology that people are now using. Next up, we have device. Now, this is a word that is being used a lot more in recent years. A device used to just be a few things, possibly a phone, but now we have devices for everything, for telling the time, for fitness, for our phones, for the televisions, a device or devices. Since 2012, many devices now have a very high level of connectivity. So I've highlighted this uh, this piece of vocabulary, uh, connectivity. Um, connectivity means when things can connect to each other, so device to device, for example, a phone to a speaker via Bluetooth, or it could also mean connectivity to the internet. Most pieces of uh, technology we buy now have some level of connectivity. The most useful device I have at home is my running watch, which tracks my exercise. Next up, we have breakthrough. A breakthrough is an expression used to describe something that has been achieved, and an innovative um, invention that was a breakthrough. It took a lot of time, but there was a breakthrough and something happened. Let's take a look at the examples. Technology has led to many breakthroughs in healthcare and hospitals. Many consider smart TVs to be quite a big breakthrough in home devices. Breakthrough, add an innovative invention. Here we have this idiomatic expression, cutting edge. We're not actually cutting anything, but when we describe something as being cutting edge, it means to be at the height of technology. The train system in Seoul really is cutting edge compared to my hometown. Apple are at the cutting edge of technology and design many wonderful devices. Cutting edge, the height of technology. And here we have the word gadget. A gadget is a noun given to something to make our lives easier. My father was very into his gadgets and spent many hours traveling to local gadget shows. Here I've got the word into highlighted. Um, it sounds strange, but if you say someone is into something, for example, 
David is into football, it means that he likes it or they like something. For example, I'm not into gadgets. I don't like gadgets. Just the very native sounding way of saying like something. I don't really have many gadgets at home. Okay, let's move on to wireless. Uh, this is a very common word that we hear these days. Wireless. There are no cables involved to connect to something. I remember when I was a child, the internet wasn't wireless and needed a cable. At many homes, people have a wireless network to connect to the internet throughout their homes. I've highlighted the collocation wireless network. It's a very native sounding expression, a wireless network for the internet. Next up, we have social media, and I would assume that most people uh, know this phrase. Social media applies to uh, internet companies that want us to message each other and find news, such as Facebook and Instagram. Some people believe that social media causes a lot more problems than it solves. Recently, I have been trying to limit the amount of time I spend on social media. Social media, definitely um, a popular topic in that sphere topic of technology. Okay, let's move on to our next piece of vocabulary, which is viral. And I assume many people also know this word, but... Viral is something that very, very quickly uh, rises to huge popularity on the internet. Viral memes, those pictures that you see, or viral videos, uh, often of people falling over or things such as that. Let's take a look at some examples. Many viral images are designed to make people laugh. A friend's video went viral on Facebook and had over a 100,000 views overnight. Here's the highlighted term, went viral. So when we talk about something that uh, became viral previously, we use the verb went. Um, and we can also use the present tense, uh, go. Um, I want this video to go viral the video went viral. Okay, that brings us to the end of this list of uh, essential vocabulary for computers and technology. Try and use them in your own sentences, write them down, think about any interesting synonyms for them. See you in the next lesson.